Nobody wants to go into intensive care, but when the effects of coronavirus get so bad, very few have a choice. The vast majority of COVID patients come to these units for respiratory or lung failure. What they need is oxygen. Getting enough, though, quickly can mean having to use mechanical support. We can push oxygen into your lungs by using a mask which fits on your face. That can be a tight-fitting mask, that's known as CPAP. And the other way is through using a breathing machine, a ventilator. I've got a, a very basic version here. What actually happens is that the air actually gets squeezed into the lungs and you can see the balloon inflating. So far, the Prime Minister hasn't needed either device, just standard oxygen treatment. But being in ICU means he'll be monitored very closely. And at the moment, he's not alone. The World Health Organization predicts around 5% of patients will need intensive care treatment. In the UK, one report suggests that of the 2,249 people admitted in March, just 607 were women and over two-thirds were men. The average age of patients was 61 years old. Of course, the Prime Minister is 55 and male. Andrew Hodge is just a year younger. So ill, he had to be ventilated for six days, but has now left hospital. I was ventilated. Um, I was brought round, I believe, on a daily basis just to make sure that uh, I knew my name, where I was, and I could squeeze somebody's finger. And one of the intensive care nurses or doctors looking me straight in the eye at the beginning saying, this is what we do, do not worry. Intensive care isn't just about machines and drugs, it's also about giving patients care and the time to recover. Emily Morgan, ITV News.